all of the information on the actual SNF award or the subgrant that we've made to the organization under this category called opportunities. So each organization that we work with has um, a specific opportunity affiliated with each year of their grant award. So um, most of our organizations will have a SIF to 2016 um, as well as a SIF to 2017 opportunity file. So this is where we keep all of the um, information that I mentioned earlier. So things like the work plan, the budget, um, their quarterly spending, their uh, reviews and reports, um, the monthly notes for all of our meetings, all of that gets kept here on the organization or on the opportunity level. So you can see here under grant financials, this is where we keep track of the amount that we have awarded them as well as how much money we've actually dispersed to date with them. Um, you can see how much cash they've had on hand. You can see the payments balance. Uh, you can see where the match is coming from um, and all of the different information that is associated with that. You would typically click here to view the budget. Um, this is what a budget would look like for an organization. So they enter in each quarter's spending as well as the associated match information and notes on each um, item. And this is uh, something that grantees, they have their own portal where they can um, enter in things like budgets and their work plan and it's a very easy user interface. So it, it doesn't look like this. This is all back end for RedF. So some of the um, key information that we keep here um, that I mentioned is the budget, but we also keep all of the work plan goals for an organization on Salesforce. So every year we work with our grantees to set new work plan goals. Typically, there will be um, nine or ten goals per year for each organization, and they'll fall under the categories of business growth, um, employee supports, uh, sustainability, and measurement and evaluation. So these are just a few examples, but what they do is they describe what the actual goal is, um, and we try to keep them sort of short and tight, and then if there's an actual percentage that they're trying to reach, we document that. If there's a particular number they're trying to reach, we document that. Um, we go over when it, the goal is set to start and when it's set to end. And we also talk through how, what sort of assistance they might be looking for from RedF. Each year, we have um, a check-in in July, as well as at the end of the year, where the grantee actually goes in um, on their online portal, and they enter in their progress to date. So basically, they would say, we're 45% of the way to the goal, um, or we have employed 20 people so far. Um, and then we, they enter that on their end of the portal. It gets sent over to us on this side, and we're able to take a look at that and discuss with them their progress to date, as well as monitor and track any um, issues that may be arising. The other way we're able to monitor and track our organizations on a monthly basis is through our VC meetings. So every month we meet with our social enterprises and we talk through how things are going, um, progress to date, we talk through projects, and we keep track of all of those notes as well as key action items um, on Salesforce. So after each meeting we log all of this information onto Salesforce. So we keep track of the date, we keep track of the agenda, we keep track of who attended, and then we keep track of all of these notes. Finally, we also keep track of the key action items and use them to keep track of whether or not we um, are following up with the different things that we've either asked them to follow up with or we have on our list to follow up with. From, from each uh, VC meeting note, we also pull specific successes and challenges. 
So if a grantee mentions something that we think we might need to note for a funder or if something really great is happening and we want to make sure we highlight it and remember it, we track it in a successes and challenges section. So this is something that's pretty simple. We either click add a new success or add a new challenge. You can have it actually be tied to a specific VC meeting um, and you just have a brief description on what the challenge is or what the success is. And then we're actually able to generate reports based on these successes and challenges, which allows us to easily generate um, grantee reports. We can use, I don't have any information currently populated, but activity history is where we can keep track of things like notes for a specific call we've had with the organization or send um, specific emails to an organization that we want to keep track of. So for example, every time we send um, a notification that it's time for budget to actuals to be happening, um, we'll send an email through this activity history. And then we'll be able to track whether or not we've notified groups on, um, on what they're supposed to be reporting.